that your ship that landed not too long ago? Sure is something. That's convenient. Kila City could really use something like that. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobones would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Been a while since I've seen your ugly mug. Nice to see you again, old friend. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together, but I got a little lost peeking through the eye. That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. She's as tough as they come, but happy to lend a hand if needed. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? 
The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair. Like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. Let's deal. Show the words another time then. Smell of getting back into the harness. Talk to me.
Yes? Have any new books for me?
should bring Cora back here sometime. Tell ghost stories. I think she's still into that. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well, I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Meet your death! Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
Did they have anything of value? Jack Pot. Yes. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? Ain't you ever heard of sarcasm, friend? Okay, so how's it traveling with one of the great Co's? That better? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days... <laughs> he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he... Dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system. Set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? I believe that might be the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> well... I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I 
think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. you back at the lodge. my own way back. Go on without me. some sort of stunt gone wrong or
chance to set up a mining operation like this. Get out there and do something new today, shall we?
scanner is Constellation's best friend. It's time to drop a few pounds, and I don't mean a diet.
you keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. while I'm on the ship by myself? I can help you with?
the closest thing Korra has to home. Not bad, right? Captain, hello oh, again. Goodness. I was Your uncertain word? you would Why? return. Was there a concern that I would not... Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. That's the winning play. Just kibitz from the sidelines. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Oh. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Always a satisfying moment to return to.
Good to go, Cap. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. All right, let me transfer over the data, but I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. about. Lives get stuffy sometimes. Thanks again for the help. You see out.
Let us see how they have arranged themselves. Wherever you store that, the smell will not be an issue.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us. Are you alright? We need to get you back to the lodge. 
Quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this, <laughs> this is much. Crixus better. bones, look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans, like right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. 
But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data from the eye to pinpoint the source. Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Welcome back.